What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to get 999 Gimme Ghoul coins so we can evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Ghoul. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy these Pokemon guys, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I really appreciate it. The general basics of Gimme Ghoul is there are two different Gimme Ghoul forms. One is the chest form, which is the only form that we can actually catch. And this is the chest form that I have currently in my party. And most of these are going to be found throughout the towers in the Paladia region. So if you see a tower like this in the game, there is going to be a Gimme Ghoul chest form at the top of them. And there's a lot of these towers and most of the chests will be in these towers. So definitely make sure to check it out. Leaking Tower Paladia is another one as an example that's going to have one of these... We're also going to see at the South Province Watchtower here as well. So just keep that in mind. You see one of these towers, you're going to get one of these Gimme Ghoul chest forms. Now, each one of these chest forms is going to drop be in between 50 and 60 coins. And there's a total of 24 chest forms that can be found in the world. However, there is a cap of getting chest forms in the sense of coins. You can only get 777 coins from the chest total after that you will get no more coins so if you go to all the towers in the game you explore around you find chests around the ground then you're gonna have almost enough but not exactly the right amount now the rest of your coins are gonna have to come from gimme ghoul roaming form and these are gonna be all around the map and these actually respawn so important to note the chests do not respawn there's no way to make a chest respawn however the gimme ghoul roaming forms will respawn every 24 hours and they'll drop in between 1 and 10 coins. However, I've seen some of the late game ones drop 30 coins out of nowhere. So keep that in mind. And these cap at 200. Now, if you were to talk to this and skip it forward a day, it wouldn't necessarily come back in the exact same spot. It would appear somewhere else in this area. And you can hear them by the coin that noise they make. So if you get enough of those, you get 200 coins there. 777 from the chest you'll be way above the 999 that you actually need in order to get the evolution for gimme ghoul and the last way to earn gimme ghoul coins is actually found in the town of the fourth gym and you want to go exactly where my marker is as there's an npc who will give us coins when we talk to him so it's here at the general area you want to go into the plaza here next to some ice cream machines and you're going to talk to this dude right here and he keeps finding some coins and if you talk to him he'll give you coins unfortunately i'm currently full on coins so he won't give me any more coins but he will give you daily coins if you come back every 24 hours he'll start giving you some coins our first gimme ghoul chest can be found right at the beginning of the game if you go fly into this lighthouse and go a little bit north of it you'll actually see it as a gimme ghoul chest so you see the lighthouse and the chest is actually right here at the beginning of the game our next gimme ghoul chest can be found at the south province area for watchtower this one's not too tricky to get to and there is a dude on the bottom of this tower who will give you a tm for some battles as well once you're able to cross this river, you'll be able to easily get to this watchtower. And at the top there will be a Gimme Ghoul chest form. Our next Gimme Ghoul is located at the South Province West Tower here, which is right north of the South Province Pokemon Center. You can't miss this tower. It's pretty easy to nab. Our next tower is located just north of the Psychic Gym Leader. And this one is a little bit tricky to get because you actually can't get this on the ladder because it's currently underwater, right? But what you have to do is you have to go around the mountain slope with your ride Pokemon, and then you're gonna have to make a jump to the top here. And if you don't make it to the top, you can go to the bottom here, the middle, and then climb up. And there is a chest form at the top there. Now, just south of the desert and just east of this Pokemon Center on the map, there is another watchtower in a ruins area. And you can climb this tower for another set of Gimme Ghoul coins. In the desert, there is a Gimme Ghoul chest that is located on the north side of the desert in the ruins here, right up on this wall. In the West Paldian Sea, you can actually find one at the very tip of this island over here. So just swim over from the port here and you'll be able to get another chest on this island. Now our next Gimme Ghoul chest can be found at the Watchtower number one just south of the lake here. 
And there's actually a bunch of Gimme Jewels chests that can be gotten in this area. Now, our next chest can be found at the second watchtower on the lake. And we're looking at the watchtower from right over here. But actually, there is another Gimme Ghoul chest in these ruins that can be found here. I've already picked it up. But you can find a second chest right here. So pretty much two back to back. And on the east side of the lake, there is our third watchtower, which is very easy to get to. Just looking at it, there's going to be another Gimme Ghoul chest up there. The next chest can be found north of the lake near where the ground blight shrine is on the trail you're gonna want to climb up on this mountain structure so you will need the last titan power to climb up this structure and then on top of this structure right in this area you'll be able to see a chest this next gimme ghoul chest is now found in the ice mountain so probably the easiest way to get here is to go from this pokemon center or to go from the a ghost gym pokemon center and you're gonna follow the river and go down the waterfall area and then on the cliff side of the waterfall you're going to see the gimme ghoul chest right over here the next gimme ghoul chest is just south of the mountain and probably the easiest way is to head from the normal gym and just climb the mountain here and then you'll be seeing a set of ruins on the map and they're pretty easy to see the set of ruins so just head there and you'll find the new gimme ghoul chest now back to the mountain there is another watchtower looking over the eastern part of the map and at the top there's going to be a gimme ghoul chest the next gimme ghoul chest can be found in north province area one at the watchtower here in the middle of the lake it is important to note that there are three watchtowers and only this one has a chest in it just south of that last watchtower there is another set of ruins and in the set of ruins you can find another gimme ghoul chest in the back corner here this next gimme ghoul chest is a little bit tricky so i recommend flying to the pokemon center here and you're going to go south and you're going to climb these mountains and you're going to see this circular body of water with a little piece of land in the middle we're going to want to go there because that little piece of land will have a gimme ghoul chest and this is what the area looks like there's a ton of dratini and you can see down looking at the area where the pokemon center is and in that center point there will be a gimme ghoul chest our next gimme ghoul chest is going to be at the east province area 3 watchtower which is right above the electric gym up in the tower area so just go up the tower and you'll see a gimme ghoul up there this next gimme ghoul chest location is still in the same area just go northeast of the tower Follow the path and then go up the mountain in a little bit and you'll see a Gimme Ghoul chest. So you want to climb up here and then when you go over here, you'll actually come see a Gimme Ghoul chest in the area. Our next Gimme Ghoul chest is found south of the electric gym at the watchtower right here. Our next Gimme Ghoul chest is found just south of the electric gym, north of the grass gym. If you fly over to this Pokemon Center here, East Providence Area 2, you're going to go to the west and you're going to climb up this mountain structure. On this mountain structure, you'll be able to see a Gimme Ghoul chest on the cliffside. Our next Gimme Ghoul chest location is at this watchtower in the middle of South Province Area 3. And this is right next to where Cloth is located. Our next Gimme Ghoul chest location is at this watchtower in the middle of South Province Area 3. And this is right next to where Cloth is located. And the last chest form that I found, there may be others, but the last one I found was just south of the lake area. You want to fly to the hollow zone, which is north of the desert. And in the hollow, you're going to go into the cave. And in the cave, you're going to see a Gimme Ghoul chest form on one of these rocks on the right side of the wall here now once you've gotten all those watchtowers done which remember max is 777 or you got 200 from the roaming or some from the guy you should have 999 gimme ghoul coins once you have this amount of coins you can actually just evolve your gimme ghoul so you can just do it by leveling up you don't have to give him these items he'll just automatically take them once it gets a level so the easiest way of course is just doing it from your item so you can just use a rare candy and pop it just like that and pop one of them you only need one and then we get gimme ghoul's evolution important to note gimme ghoul cannot be caught shiny in the wild it is currently a shiny lock pokemon also the shiny has like no difference so you're not even missing out on anything but there you go that is how you evolve your gimme ghoul into a golden ghoul this pokemon is extremely powerful as a steel and ghost type i highly recommend using on your team especially in the post game anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys next time peace out and have a great one